Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I bring you the 2011 Cadillac SRX Performance Collection. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the SRX. We'll start up, show the engine, go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Hendrix Chevrolet Cadillac in Monroe, North Carolina. So, without further ado, let's go and start it up, let it run. Does have push button ignition. Simple as that. This vehicle does come equipped with the smart key access system. And how it works, you just have the key fob on your person. All you gotta do is touch your finger to this little sensor on the door handle. And it locks it. To unlock the vehicle, all you have to do is pull on the handle. You can only open the vehicle if you have this key on you, so nobody is able to just get in and start up the vehicle. It's the gold mist metallic exterior with shale and brownstone leather interior. Perforated leather seats. Leather and wood trim steering wheel. Does have push button ignition. Put your foot on the brake. Hold the button to start. Very nice. Smooth steering. Side bolstering grips here. It's a six speed automatic transmission. Manual shiftability. You have your wood trimmed shift knob, chrome accent, and the leather stitch shift boot. This vehicle also comes with an electronic parking brake. Pull it up to activate. Then to deactivate, put your foot on the brake and push down. And let's go and cut on the headlights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. All four windows are automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? LED accented, high intensity discharge headlamps. Front and rear parking assist. Has 20 inch chrome wheels on Michelin tires, nitrogen filled. Angular body lines. LED tail lamps. Dual polished exhaust tips. Tail lights come off into a point in the back, almost like a fin. Here's your backup camera below. It does have a third brake light with a spoiler on the back. The vehicle also has a full panoramic sunroof. Chrome roof rack. Go and pop the hood. This particular SRX comes with a 3 liter direct injected V6, variable valve timing.
That little background noise that you hear is an air compressor running. Stitched door panels, wood accents, very gracefully styled door handle. Almost acts as an extra grip for your hand, easier pulling. This switch controls how open you want your rear hatch. And you can see the rest of the stitching across the door. It's your power windows, power mirrors, and also power folding for both sides. You also have a leather stitch dash going across the length of the vehicle. Your power pedal adjustment is located here. Two person memory for the driver's seat. Full power adjustment and power lumbar. Manual leg extension. Like I mentioned earlier, they are full perforated seats. You can see a little close up of the perforation and stitching. And it is a tilt steering wheel. Give you a look at the roof. Now I'll pull it back so you can go ahead and see the glass and then I'll demonstrate it. Now I'll view with it back. Opens it up for the entire vehicle. All right. Let's go ahead and see how she sounds. Rev limiter is just above 3000 RPM. Not bad. And it's going to shut it up. Couldn't put the windows up. The doors have a really nice solid sound to them. Makes great sealed contact. You have a full Bose sound system. star garage home link it's fully automatic and then once that's back you hit the sunroof button and it's also automatic fully lifts up and raises over the back glass very large also comes up with a wind deflector It's a 10 speaker system with a built in 40 gigabyte hard drive. It's an 8 inch touchscreen, DVD audio video compatible, Dolby Digital DTS surround sound. Your preset stations down below. You select between AM, FM, XM, satellite radio. Outside temperature. You can also open and close this manually. And just the necessary information will show up below. Go between your auxiliary modes. This is all controlled by this wheel in the middle. Back, vehicle configuration. Tone, select between your different audio settings. Different areas of the vehicle. As you saw before, you can dual wheel the audio and the navigation at the same time, or you can go to full map. Your lock and unlock, OnStar hands-free phone. Right here you control your child locks. That's some of the basic systems of the navigation and audio interface. Down below you have your dual zone climate control, three stage heated seats for the driver and passenger. If you hit tune here, info, you have your active weather information. Hit it again, go to your climate control display. Control your different zones. 
Hey, and you can also see it from this screen. Storage. The power outlet. Traction control, park and assist. Press this button. This collapses to a deeper cup holding well. Snaps back into place. USB auxiliary interface. And you have your cruise control and volume controls, hands-free phone controls on the steering wheel. Oh, and one more thing. I almost forgot to show you the backup camera. Put it in reverse. You also have guidance lines. Then put it back up in the park or drive. You also have your digital speedometer. Located on your turn signal stalk here is your driver info system. You hit menu. Then use this to select up and down. Very nice system to use. Pretty easy. And let's go ahead and shut it down. Check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Leather stitching up here. Power window control. Chrome door sill. These back seats also fold. To allow for extended cargo space. Rear air, power outlet. Very stylish. Coat hanger. Leather stitch center console. Pass through. Does have side airbags all the way around. Full power tailgate. Wide opening, chrome plated accents, storage below, locks in place, or if you bring it up here, you have an air compressor in the back of the vehicle. Now I'll demonstrate the partition back here. It's adjustable by two buttons here. Press it down and pull. It slides along the built-in track in the vehicle, depending on what you have in the back that you don't want sliding around. And it comes all the way out here. It's very flexible. You also have a couple side pockets here that are removable for odd, odd ends and supplies. And a cargo cover. Slides into this little groove here. A couple different ways you could set it. And just hit the button right here, and it automatically closes back. Very nice setup.
back seats are very comfortable. Nice amount of room too. Same power adjustments for the passenger seat as the driver's seat. The aluminum trim is also a really nice touch to the interior. Gives it a much more finished appearance. Double level glove box. Not bad at all. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the 2011 Cadillac SRX Performance Collection. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.